Hey everyone, this is Mystic Virgo 4444. I wanted to thank you all for liking and subscribing to my channel, for uh, the comments that, that I've seen from you all. I've opened up my channel now to receive uh, personal readings. So if you're interested in personal readings, please contact me at Nikki Vir I'm sorry, Mystic Virgo 4444 at yahoo.com. <clears throat> also, you can find the uh, PayPal information in the about and community sections. <clears throat> I wanted to do a, a reading on the Divine Masculine's headspace today. I kid you all not. I've done this. This is my third time doing this reading. First time I hit the record button after a while, <clears throat> it just disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it didn't take. I don't know why. <clears throat> the second time I did the reading, it was about maybe 38 minutes long. And I got ready to upload the reading to you all, and I couldn't hear it. I mean, it was a good reading. I couldn't hear it. So whatever's going on in the Divine Masculine's headspace, Divine Feminists, they don't want you to know. <clears throat> I think they're working on themselves. Both of the readings that I did uh, mirrored, e mirrored each other, so maybe it'll it'll happen again because I, I used this deck and I used a, di a different deck the second time that I, that I did the reading. So hopefully the reading will be the same, the same message at least. Um, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. <clears throat> I'm going to ask the universe. What is inside the masculine's headspace? Whatever it is that's going on with them, uh, divine feminine, they don't want you to know about it. <clears throat> Whatever's going on with the divine masculines, they don't want you to know about it. Okay? So I'm going to try to see if I can pick it out of them. Uh, even though I, I what the last two messages were, if, if it happens to come out in this one, then I'll let you know. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. Uh, but right now, we'll see what, what what's in, on the divine masculine's head space what what is it that they're doing in their mind that you know, they don't want you to know about divine feminine what is going on in the divine masculine's head space what is going on in the divine masculine's head space it's going to shuffle some parts starting with the uh the seven of wands what is going on in the divine masculine's head space <clears throat> The Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, they're wanting to come out of something. Fact, like they're, they're like pressing their way through Divine Feminine. And they're really, really, they want to come out. It's like they're going back and forth inside their mind, but they want to be happy. They want to be truly, truly emotionally happy, emotionally sound. Uh, they want to discharge their emotions and tell you how they feel. Or, or tell, at the most part, come to the conclusion of how they feel, okay, come to the conclusion about how they feel, what is it that's going on inside the divine masculine state space, what is going on in the divine, divine masculine's mind, what is, is it that he is feeling right now, what is it that the divine masculine is feeling right now, Excuse me, he's definitely wanting to talk. Um, clearing his throat chakra. <clears throat> Coming out of it, actually, really, 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 really doing a lot better than he was communicating, communication wise. Definitely doing better communication wise. He's coming out of being so into himself and thinking that everything is okay when it's really not. I have the sun card and I have the ten of wands. This came out earlier in my reading. The sun was guiding here, our divine masculine, and he wanted to apologize to you, to you for hurting you in, in the past. Uh, so many different things that's on his mind um, that he wants to do with his life, he wants to say. But it's like <clears throat> he has to work on himself first. Okay? He has to work on himself first. That really was what the other two messages were pretty much about. What is it that, that the divine is inside the divine masculine's head space? <sighs> I have the three. The three of swords. What is going on in the divine masculine's head space? Okay. I have the six of cups, the star card, the king of pentacles, the king of wands, with my overall energy being the eight of pentacles. <clears throat> so 
he's definitely coming out of something, uh, coming out of being so, so, um, in, into himself and not, I'm going to clarify this seven of, um, wands. Give me a clarification for the seven of wands for the divine masculine. Clarify. Clarify the wands part. Seven of wands for the divine masculine. I have great fortune and I have false person. So your divine masculine, he wants great fortune in his life. Um, but he know that he has to change some things, make some changes in his life. If he wants to, uh, if he wants to acquire this great fortune, if he wants to acquire this great fortune here, divine feminine, there are some changes in his life that he has to make. He knows that he needs to make some changes because he wants this 10 of cups, but the, the opportunity for the 10 of cups in his life right now, divine feminine. Is passed has passed him by because he knows that he's probably burned some bridges with you and he's broke your heart. He's hurt you. He realizes this. He realizes this. He wants to offer you something here. Uh, it's like he wants to offer you a new beginning with himself uh, because he's seen the light. He's seen the light, the bright light that you all share with each other. He knows how special this connection is, how special you are to him. Um, but it, 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 it's going to take some work. You know, he, he knows that that you're not going to accept any of his BS. <clears throat> he realizes this. He realized that he has to make a living uh, uh, to get his life in, in tune with himself. He knows that, that the life that he has with you is in tune with you. He needs to in tune his, get his life in tune with himself. He needs to figure out who he is all over again. He's working on that. I'm concentrating on contacting uh, my spirit realizing who I am on the inside, realizing who I am on the inside, regardless of how I feel about my divine feminine, I need to start working on me so I can make sure when it does come to the point of my two of the 10 of cups that I'm going to be happy, that we're going to be happy, that there's nothing going to be able to separate us. Okay. So I have a 10 of wands <clears throat> and I have a false person. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a false person. I don't want you to think that I know in the past that you thought that, and I'm sorry if I hurt you, if I broke your heart. I want you to know that I'm going to work on me now. I concentrate on me more than I did in the past because I want you to know that, that I still care about you. But I need you to know, Divine Feminine, that I need to start caring about me too. I need to care for me the way you cared about me. So you won't see me as being a false person. I don't want to be a false person in your life. I don't want you to be mad, upset, or bitter at me. I'm working on me. I'm, I'm spending time by myself, Divine Feminine. I want you to know that I'm working on me. I'm making some changes in my life. But first, I need for you to understand that it has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with me. I want you to know that I'm changing and rearranging my life. It's slow. It's a slow process. This whole process is slow. And <clears throat> I don't understand why it has to be so slow, Divine Feminine, but it has to be. I have to work on me. I have to. I have to work on me. Okay? I have to work on me. It's a slow process, like I said, but I need to do this for me. I need to do this for me. I need to take this, this, I need to take a journey by myself. I need to take a journey by myself. Okay. I need to take a journey by myself. Not saying that I'm with anyone because I'm not, I'm by myself. I'm, I'm not in a relationship with anybody. Some of them may be, but a lot of them aren't. They are more than likely, if they're not in relationships with anybody, divine masculines, <clears throat> they are pleasing themselves. Pleasing themselves by themselves. They, they want you to know that they have a lot of work to do on themselves. They need to clear all the bad and negative energies that, they, that they've had in their recent past. They need to get rid of it. It's like they're shaking off the, the bad things. They're shaking off the bad things and, and planting new things and new people in their lives. Just all greenery, just all uh, probably eating a healthier diet, uh, making sure they're trying to save and make more money, uh, making sure everything in their life and their life and on their end is okay because they 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 want to work on themselves for themselves, not for you, divine masculine. It's like I'm sorry, divine feminine. You were the catalyst for the divine masculine's change. Whether you end up with this person or not, whether you end back up with the divine masculine or not, divine feminine, you are the major catalyst to let this person know the divine 
masculine know that you were the one for them, that not only that you were the one for them, but to let them know that they were lovable. They see that now. They experienced a connection with you that they never experienced with anybody else. That's why it took them so long to come around. That's why it, it they didn't realize that you were a great fortune. But they, they really didn't realize that they were a great fortune, too. They thought that it was only you, but they didn't realize just how powerful they were. That's why they broke your heart, because they didn't know any better. They didn't know any better, but now that they're that they're learning different things, they're coming out of their comfort zone to do different things, they'll get to the point to where now I'm going to stand strong in my power. I'm going to stand strong in my divinity. I'm going to stand strong, stand tall in who I am as a strong divine masculine who is tied to a beautiful divine feminine. And I know that I need to balance myself out first. Not that I'm dismissing my divine feminine because I'm not. I need to work on me. I need to balance out my side right now first before i do anything else i need to balance out me i need to balance out who i am okay i've been i don't want you to realize what i'm doing holding on to what i'm what i'm going through what i'm doing now because i don't want you to get ahead of yourself right now in this in this in this situation divine feminine i'm working on me first so this is why i'm not talking to you this is why it feels like i put you on the back burner i haven't put you on the back burner live your life and do what you have to do for me for you I need to work on me. That's why I'm holding on to what I'm holding on to until I can flourish and get my life together. I need to get myself together for me. I need to get myself together. I need to pull out all the stops. I need to start over again. I need to start over learning different things, trying to figure out what the twin flame journey is, trying to figure out what the divine masculine is to his divine feminine. I need to figure out why you love me the way you do so I can start loving myself just as much and just as powerful as you do. I just need some time to work on me. I need some time to work on me. <clears throat> I'm leaving everything behind. Everything I've done in the past, I'm kicking it to the curb. I'm cutting it out. I'm just going to spend some time on myself now. I need to figure out what I'm going to be. I need to learn how to, to change. I am. In fact, I'm, I'm changing and rearranging my life. That's why I'm going to be alone. I'm, I'm going into seclusion to take a look. It's a burden. I'm going into I'm going into, um, I can't even talk. Because I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I need to figure out what I need to do for me. And once I figure out what I can do for me, I can stop making you feel like you're being left out in the cold. Okay? I need you to know that I need to figure out where I'm going. And it's a burden for me because it's, it's kind of scary. Because I don't know what direction I'm going. And I'm leaving. Not only am I leaving you out in the cold, I'm leaving everything out in the cold. And everybody. Until I can, I can figure out what I need to do for me. So I need to do figure out what I need to do for me. I need to come to the to come to the conclusion that I'm powerful. I'm a powerful, mighty being, and I don't realize I didn't realize that, but you did, and I thank you for that. But now I have to figure out how I can accept this challenge, how I can accept my power, how I can accept this divinity that is coming my way. And I know I have to go. <clears throat> excuse me. I know that I have to go in and meditate so I can receive this blessing. I know that you are my blessing, but I need to I need to find the blessing within me. I need to find my blessing within me. I need to find my blessing within me. And I know that I'm going to be successful at it. I just have to put that, that foot out there, that first foot out there and start and start this and go ahead and do what I need to do for me. I, I need to confine myself by myself so I can make sure I can love you the right way. I need to confine myself so I can find myself. In you okay so I can find myself in me so I can give myself 100% and totally to you okay the world core everything is trying changing for me but it's changing for me in a good way in a healthy ethical calm way I mean I'm not playing any games I'm not flipping any coins I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to be doing other than getting to know who I am all over again getting to know who I am all over again. confinement I said something earlier um, from who I was watching, but it, I kind of stopped. This card here, the divine masculine, is very emphatic. He is confining himself. That's what he didn't want you to know. He is confining himself. He is putting everybody out in the cold because he's confining himself, trying to figure out who he is and what he wants to do in his life. I'm changing. I'm rearranging my life. I'm changing and I'm rearranging my life. Not for my mother, not for my father, my sisters and brothers and kids, not for my divine feminine. I'm changing and rearranging my life for me. 
There won't be no communication. I need to work on me. Everything's going to be at a standstill, Divine Feminine. That's just something you have to understand. It's a bitter pill for you to swallow. But I have to change my life and rearrange my life. For me, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to fuss and fight with you. I'm just going to confine myself and be alone until I get done what needs to be done. And once I finally get everything done, then maybe we'll see if we have a happy home together. I don't want you to think that I'm sounding, I'm sounding brisk or rude to you or anything. But also, I don't want you to be, or I know you're upset and angry and, and, and probably a little bitter. I mean, that's fine. That's understandable. But I need to find me again. I need to confine myself by myself again so I can figure out what I'm going to do with my life. It's just me right now. It's nobody else. I'm not spilling my heart and my love to anyone else. I'm not giving anybody else my cup of love. This cup of love, Divine Feminine, belongs to you. It belongs to you. You are the highlight of my life. But I have to realize that I am the highlight of my own life too. And I just have to find that person in me. That's why I'm staying, I'm standing by myself and I'm alone right now. Just so I can start over my life again. So I can make sure I'm making the right decisions in my life again. I don't want you to think that I'm doing wrong or, or I'm I'm laying down with other people. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm by myself. I'm 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 sequestering myself by myself so I can figure out what I need to do for me. It has nothing to do with the divine feminine. You're going to always be important in my life. You're going to always mean something to me, divine feminine. Always, always. And I just need to find myself so I could re reward myself with being who I, who you know, who you know that I already am, who the universe is telling me that I am. I'm trying to rearrange some things in my life and change some things in my life for the betterment of me. If that includes us not being to, not going to be together because you can't stop forgiving me or because you because you can't forgive me because you are bitter toward me. And that's understandable that you're pissed off and mad at me. I get that, you know, but I have to think about me. I have to, whether we're in a relationship or together again or not, that's just a decision that I have to make. I have to come to the conclusion that either this person is going to take me back or they're not. And that's a decision that I have to, to, to accept because I know I've done so much wrong to you, back and forth, the chasing and all of that stuff. I'm, I'm tired of living that kind of lifestyle. I need to find out where my, my value is. I need to find out what I did. Not only to, to the connection we have together, but everything. I need to understand the connection for one thing. Okay? My outer experiences are a reflection of, a reflection of my condition. When I accept love, when I accept the love of the, of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. And my fearless freedom, my fearless, my fearless freedom lights up the world. So I, I, this is me in a, in, a nut, in a nutshell, Divine Feminine. I want you to know that my outer experiences are a, reflect, a reflection of my internal condition. My life was dark up until recently, and it had nothing to do with, with what happened between us and why we ended. It just had something to do with me, how I felt about myself. I felt kind of dark. I felt a dark entity inside me. I felt like I wasn't me. A part of me was holding me back, and there was a fear of being who I could possibly be. The fear of being who I already knew I was. I just didn't know how to accept the, the, the amazing person that you saw every day or that you felt every day. I didn't know anything about a twin flame journey. I didn't know, even know what that is until I started to, to get online and figure out what all these different meanings were. And, and I just wanted to know what this strong soul connection was I had with somebody, the strong connection I had with you. I couldn't understand it, you know? But I, when I accept love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. So I have to realize that that light that's there, that was always there, that was buried inside, it was buried inside of me. It was always there. The only person who saw that light was you, my divine feminine. I couldn't see my own light because I was blinded. Because I was blinded. Now that I'm on this, this journey, this amazing journey that I had no clue about last year about this time, I'm, I'm enlightened to find out more. I'm learning different things. The universe works fast because I'm having fun at this, trying to figure out what I'm doing, and, and the, the connection I have with you. It, it's just amazing all the different things I'm learning, all the, the, the universal soul lessons that I'm learning. It's, it's so many different things that I never, I never dreamed about or could happen. 
and I want you to know I honor how I want to feel. I honor how I want to feel. I want to feel accepted. I want to feel loved. I want to feel connected to you, but I have to realize that I have to feel this in myself first. I know that I have I've done some bad things and I didn't feel this at first. I didn't honor how I felt. I didn't understand how I made other people feel. How can I under how can I understand how I make other people feel if I don't know how I feel on the inside? That's what I'm sequestering myself for. That's why I'm by myself now to figure out who I am and where I am going in this journey. Just know that just because we are together, that doesn't mean that I don't care about you because I do. I just need to work on me. I just need to get back, get my life back on track and do what I need to do for me. I need to, get to do what I need to do to fix my life and come to the conclusion that the decisions that I make are for my benefit first before I can spread my love to anybody else, including and especially you, Divine Faith. Okay? So what else does the universe wants to, wants to know about the Divine Masculine? I have conclusion, confidence, definitely working on a, a happy conclusion in his life, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine wants to be happy, but he knows that he has to, to, to start his chapter again has to learn all over again. He's, he's changing and rearranging his life. He knows that he has to do something different for him. He has to figure out what that is, but he has to figure it all out on his own. He's getting this, this confidence to start things all over again. I'm getting this confidence to start it all over again. I know I need to, because whether I'm back together with, with my woman, however it resonates, I need to work on me, for me. Not because if she said I, I'm this kind of person or not because he said I was this or that or whatever. I have to do this for me. I'm the king of my castle and I have to realize that. Okay? So that the divine masculines are, are, are not wanting you to know that they are changing and rearranging their lives for themselves. Once they rearrange their life and change stuff around and rewrite the chapters in their book, the lost chapters in their book. I'm, I'm getting here. You know, sometimes you read books and then you may get the lost chapters two or three years later or whatever. This is it. This is the la the lost chapters of the Divine Masculine's book. They're going back and rewriting these lost chapters and pulling them out so the world can see. Yep. Yep. It's, it, it, this, this, this reading is mirrors the other two that, that didn't go through. I'm hoping this one goes through. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm going to wait a couple of days if it doesn't do it again. Okay, what else is in the divine masculine's headspace? What is he planning on doing? Meditating. This card here came out earlier. It, it didn't come out. Actually, I said something about meditation earlier. So they're they're going inside, taking deep breaths here, divine feminines, and they are definitely, definitely meditating, trying to figure out what their next move is. My next move is to link the chain of my own broken heart. I'm linking the chain of my own broken heart because I caused most of destruct of the destruction in my life. I did to myself. I didn't. I didn't. I did it to myself. You know, this oath. I know I did it to myself. I'm taking on that burden because that's something I did for. I did to myself. Had nothing to do with my divine feminine, my mother, my father, my children. It had everything to do with me and how and how I handled the situation. I messed up. I I, I admit that. But I hope that by the time I, I'm done working on myself and rearranging my life and, and fixing the chapters up to, the, to my book the way I want them set up, not the way my divine feminine wants me to set up, the way I want them to set up, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to live my life okay. I'm going to be different when I come back out of, out of solitude. I'm going to be different when I open that door and, and, and unlock it to the to my brand new world, to my brand new universe. Everybody needs to understand this is an all new me. And this has nothing to do with anybody else. It has everything to do with how I see myself, how I'm going to end up by going into into um, seclusion and do what I need to do for me. More cards for the divine masculine's mindset. More cards for the divine masculine's mindset. I'm not being deceitful, warrior, and the fleeting and vision. So for whoever this is for, I'm not being deceitful. I'm being 100% honest with you. I need to get out and do what I need to do for me. I need to be the warrior in my own group. I need to be the, the, the fighter. The only person who's standing in that group fighting for uh, peace and abundance is me fighting for myself. Fighting for my mind, fighting, fighting for the beauty that you that you see inside of me, divine feminine. Just know that 
I'm doing this for me. And I don't know if you'll accept that or not. I don't know if we'll ever be together again or not, but I'm working on a new me. I'm changing and I'm rearranging my life. Not for you, Divine Feminine, but for me. But for me. And I'm not being deceitful. I'm not being deceitful and I'm not being facetious. I'm doing this for me. I take it how it resonates. And it's like, if you don't like it, Divine Feminine, I'm sorry. I'm not saying that to hurt you. I just need to do this for me. And you should appreciate the fact that I'm working on me a lot better now. So when I do get to the point to where I'm healed from the inside out, because of the time I took for myself in, in seclusion to be my to be better for me, I can be better for you too. I'm not being deceitful. I'm just trying, trying to figure out who I am. I'm trying to be the person who you said you saw. I'm trying to see the light that you said you saw. Just give me that time. Just give me that time. I have vision and I have the fleeting here. I'm not going anywhere. I want to see my light. I want you to see my light. You, you see my light. But watch how much brighter my light will be when you just relax and sit back and let me do what I need to do for myself. Let me change and rearrange my life for me, Divine Feminine. I, I, I'm, I mean, I don't know if you'll realize. I don't want to know if you will take me back in your life. I don't know if you will or not, but that's your decision. That's your decision. I have chaos. I have letting go. I have belonging. The high priestess of spirit, cycles, and movement. I caused a lot of chaos in your life and, broken, and, and broke your heart, and you let me go. And you had every right to let me go. I see that now. I see that now. But that was for your own good, too, Divine Feminine, because I didn't belong in your home at the time. I didn't belong in your life at the time because I needed to start working on me more. I needed to start changing the ways that I treated people in my life. I need to let you go, and, and you need to let me go, whoever let who go first. You let each other go however. Because you were the high priestess. You knew exactly where you were here. You know your spirit was on fire. Your mind and your brain was on fire. But our cycles were different. We learned differently, Divine Feminine. Your cycles your cycles brought you this. You already knew you, who you were from birth. I didn't. I'm having to learn what those cycles are. I have to learn right now. It's like I'm going back to school and learning from the beginning of what I need to do to learn me. So I can make a better person for me. So I can serve you better, Divine Feminine. I have to, to follow my own cycles, my own moon cycles myself. I can't let you tell me this and I can't let you tell me that. I have to learn it for myself. And I'm moving toward that right now. I'm moving toward that right now by myself. Because I have to. I'm learning it by myself. I need to learn it by myself. Go out and have fun with your friends and play. Have a good time and everything. And, and I'm not keeping any secrets from you. I'm being quite honest with you. I'm being quite um, adamant. I'm doing this for me by myself. And I just need for you to know, I need to do me. I need to change and rearrange my life, my life, my cycles. I need to figure out who I am for me. It has nothing to do with you. And it has everything to do with me. So I, I just, I've learned everyone has value, divine feminine, including me. But I didn't learn this until I had to close off myself to the world to realize I have value just like everybody else. I'm learning. I'm learning this. I'm learning that I'm a pretty damn good person. I just have to learn this for myself. I couldn't let you keep telling me how valuable and how beautiful I was without me seeing it for myself. I couldn't see the value in me. And I, I didn't want you to keep telling me how valuable I was. I had to see it for myself. It's like the proof is in a pudding and I'm finally making the right pudding my way. What else did I ask for? What else is going on in your mindset? <laughs> Express your feelings. Divine Masculine is telling you, ladies, that he is expressing his feelings. He is telling you exactly what he is doing in his life, what he's changing in his life, the things that he that he needs to fix. He's getting a, having an attitude of gratitude, something he hasn't had before, anything. He is he's just it's, it's like he's making a complete 180 because he knows he needs to. He is trying to figure out who he is by, and he's gratitude, being very, very thankful to God and for spirit guides and angels who are in his life who are leading him in the right direction. Okay? He does, doesn't want you, your input. He doesn't need your input because you told him so much before, Divine Feminine. He wants you to know that he's doing everything he needs to do to increase his value. He knows this now. 
I can do this. I can learn on my own. I don't need my divine feminine telling me how how fresh I am, how beautiful I am, how strong I am, how how uh, amazing and totally totally exquisite I am. I need to figure this out on my own, and I'm learning very very surely. I'm learning this myself. I am. I admit that. I, I, I like I like who I see when I look in the mirror. The divine masculine is liking who he sees in the mirror. Now. Compared to you just like who he is. Let him alone. Let him do what he needs to do. He has work to do. He has a chore to do. He has to rearrange his life. He has to change his life. I also see something about a confectionery store. If you know any any uh, divine masculine who has, maybe that's a a business or something that someone wants to open up because I'm, I'm smelling candy, like a confectionery, like an old time confectionery store. You know, you go in a the store, they sell candy and and uh, now and later, they sell bags of chips or they sell those little bolo bats and just a confectionery store from back in the day. Maybe you're going to inherit something like that from a family member or something like that. All I hear is confectionery store, you know, something old school. He's going back to the old school way of learning this different thing. Probably, you know, grew up in a nice era, uh, a nice um, age of, 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 of desires or wanting to do something totally different with his life. You know, opening a new business, candy store, ice cream store, something that, that's creative, that's going to take this person back to when they were younger. They're going to turn everything around and start over from the beginning. And he's wanting, he wants you to know that stay yourself. Be who you are because they are learning who they are all over again. They're learning who they are all over again. Okay, and they're releasing, they are releasing toxic relationships, divine feminine. I said this earlier in the other two readings, but they are releasing uh, toxic relationships and getting themselves out of toxic environments. And when I say they're releasing toxic relationships, this is why they're spending time alone by themselves because they figure I can do bad by myself and they're not going to relinquish their power, not even to you. They're not going to relinquish their power to anybody in these negative uh, toxic relationships divine feminists and they're not going to release their power to you not anymore they're going to work on themselves they're going to release them they're going to work on themselves by themselves and and i don't want my divine feminine to think that i don't care about her because i do i just i'm not gonna let her i'm not gonna let her have my power anymore i'm not because i need to work on me i need to find out find the love in me that she saw in me i'm not going to give her my power okay i have to find my journey within I have to find my journey within divine feminine, okay? I want you to know you're never alone because we are connected. I know that now. You know we're connected. But but I have to see this light for myself. I have to see the light that you have from birth. I'm just not seeing this light. I'm researching this this connection, divine feminine, divine masculine, all of this stuff. You already know. You have to give me the chance to learn it too, okay? Thoughts create your reality. He's definitely definitely putting his thoughts in different places, releasing his toxic relationships, and he's not relinquishing his power, especially to his divine feminine, because you can knock this divine masculine off his feet, divine feminine. So he has to, to push you aside for now because he has to work on him. He has to work on his thoughts. So his thoughts can recreate the reality that's already inside of you. You have to give him that time. You have to give him that time. And he says your rights are your beliefs are right for you. His belight, his belights, his he's probably blighting out a lot of different things. He is blighting out a lot of different things, but he's starting to see that light. Okay, he's starting to see this light, and this light is bringing him into that reality that you already know about divine feminine. You've known from birth about who you are. You just haven't been able to connect those dots until recently. Now it's his turn. He's taking baby steps to get there, but he's getting there. You have to give him that much. He's given, he said, I'm not going to let this divine feminine, I'm not going to give her my power. I love her to death. Don't get me wrong. But I can't let her pull me in like that anymore. I have to learn how to pull myself in. I have to learn how to fix myself. I have to learn how to fix myself. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more shuffle here with another deck. And he's going, he's right now going into a lot of different things, fixing his lifestyle. Changing the way he's eating, probably eating more uh, greens, eating fruits, vegetables, probably juicing a little bit. Um, I actually just went to the store yesterday and got some stuff to start juicing. Uh, even I'm a female, but still, even with you, Dr. Divine Feminines, you probably uh, have wanted to start to do something now. A lot of juicing, a lot of eating more healthier, trying to get rid of a, a lot of less meat, I think, in the diet. Uh, go outside a little bit more, have some fun, ground yourself, do a little bit more walking. 
divine feminists, go out there and take care of yourself. Your divine masculines don't want you sitting at home. They want you to go out and have fun, to enjoy yourself. Maybe go get some facials done, get pedicures. Everybody needs to drink more water. Get that healthy lifestyle, active lifestyle, and just, and just go out and have a good time. Don't worry about what your divine masculine is doing. Your divine masculine is telling you, I'm working on me. I'm changing and, re and rearranging some stuff in my life. And I'm not going to let you, let you, let, let the way you think, even though they're all good thoughts, I can't let that impede what I need to do. Okay. I appreciate you thinking about me. I love you. We connected. Yes. But I have to sequester myself from you right now, from the world. I'm by myself right now. And that's where I need to be. Okay. Clear sent clear sentences. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So this is what I'm doing. I'm getting these divine interventions on the inside of me that I don't understand. But I know you do, divine feminine, because you've had this before. This is just now starting to click for me. I'm just now starting to learn what all of this stuff is about. It's, it's clicking. It's making sense to me now. Okay? I'm having to learn a lot of different things. I'm having to write my thoughts down. I feel the need to write my dreams down. All these different patterns I'm getting. I'm seeing different images in my mind when I close my eyes. I close my eyes, I see darkness. But then all of these different shapes keep popping up to me. I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy. I don't know what it is. So I have to go online to figure out what this is. What am I doing? What am I saying? What are these images that's popping up to me? And I have so much going on. I have to focus. And figure out what it is that I need to do. I know that there's different things that that's going on inside. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Different things I need to find out. And I want to come together. I want to say different things to you. So their throat chakras is, are really clogged. But they want to say something to you. Uh, they, want to, they want to be courageous right now. But they can't. They have to work on themselves. Single. I'm single right now. I'm, I mean... A lot of the divine masculines uh, probably are, are uh, self-pleasuring themselves because they are literally single. They're not wanting to be in a relationship. They're, they're throwing everything right, everything um, to, to the side. And they're sensitive right now to BS. They're sensitive to a lot of stuff that's not floating in their, in their direction. And yeah, they have passion. They have passion right now for themselves, yes. I have passion. I have passion for myself. I can handle myself right now until I can get back on the right road that I need to be on. But I need to change more things in my life. My my intentions are very, very crystal clear, Divine Feminine. And I want you to know that you pull me like nobody else can. But I need for you to know that I'm going to have to sequester my feelings for you. I'm going to have to uh, not block you, but I'm going to have to, 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 to block everything off right now in my life. Because I have to start learning me. I have to start learning who I am from the inside. And if, if, even if, if that means that I don't need you in blocking me, I have to make sure I, knock, I nurture myself. I have to make sure that I nurture myself. Learn who I am all over again. Learn myself. Imaginate something for myself. I need to, I need to learn this for myself. I, I can't talk to my friends and say, well, yeah, uh, this person who I have feelings for, I care about this person. Why am I so connected to this person? You know what this journey is, Divine Feminine. I know you know what it is. I just don't. And I have to learn this on my own. I have to figure it out for myself. I need to learn this all over again for me. But how am I going to learn it if I keep feeling your energy? How am I, how am I going to learn it if when I close my eyes, I see you coming to me at night, meeting me in my dreams? I can't even go to sleep at night without you popping up in my head, Divine Feminine. <laughs> I just need you to know that I have to block you out for now. Not because I, not because it's, it's a desire of mine. It's just a need of mine. I need to block you out for my benefit. Okay. Yoga. Your divine masculine is doing some inner thinking, meditation, maybe some yoga and stretching and working out. Early, I said, changing his diet. You know, having a little bit more time. He knows here. He knows. His light is on. His light is bing, bing, bing bright. Really, really a lot brighter than it used to be. It's, it's, it's slowly, slowly. It's, this divine masculine is learning who he is. Divine feminine. I'm learning. I want you to know I'm learning. I'm coming out of this. But I'm coming out of this in my time, divine feminine, not yours or anybody else's. That doesn't mean that I don't care for you. Stop thinking that I don't care for you. As a matter of fact, stop thinking so much about the situation. Go out there and live your life and have some fun. 
Shake the tail feather. So, because in the end, we're gonna we're gonna be happy together, whether we're together, yeah, in a relationship or, or happy, just being apart. It's gonna be a fair situation either way. I want you to don't be so bitter, not not be so bitter to me. I know the things I've done in the past. I know I've hurt you in the past, and I apologize for that. I just need for you to accept me for who I am. Okay, I'm I'm concentrating on myself. I'm I'm talking to the angels. I'm getting familiar with the angels. Divine Feminine, it's exciting because I'm, I'm talking to spirit guides and angels and stuff that I've never done before. It's amazing, you know? They're speaking to me without even opening their mouths and I can hear everything they're saying to me. They're changing me and I need to change myself right along with it. Everything that these that the angels and everything these guys are telling me is true. I just never saw it before. You said it to me, yes, but I need to see it for myself. Okay, and and um, I feel I'm, I'm I'm I feel like I'm going to be abundant with this. I think this is going to be successful because I have the support of the universe backing me. Divine feminine, you've always backed me, and I appreciate that. But right now, I need a higher intervention on my own. I need to learn something on my own without you having to tell me everything. Okay, I need to look. I need to learn, and I'm learning about this this twin flame this twin flame dynamic. I'm learning about this this divine feminine, divine, masculine thing. I need to learn it. If I go out here outside and stand next to a tree, I put my foot on the ground. I feel this earth. I feel the energy. I feel the, the emotions of, of the earth pulling me and tugging me in. I feel it. And when I, when I hear from you, I feel you a way that I've never felt anybody else. It's like I've known you since before I was born. And you've known this before. I haven't. That's why I have to go figure out what the heck this is. Reading up on it, going on the internet, putting in all these key phrases, trying to figure out why I feel the way I do about somebody. <clears throat> now I know why. Now I know why. I'm a child in this situation. But you already know about this dynamic. I'm just not learning. So I'm starting over as if I was a child. Okay? I'm healing my energy. I'm healing my energy through meditation and yoga and stretching and, and eating healthier. I'm clearing the energy and whatever it is that I'm doing in my life with Divine Feminine is for the glory of good for me first. Not for you in the, in the beginning, but you have to let me do what I have to do for me first, okay? You have to, to let me do what I have to do for me first. It's my heart's desire because I want to be raised to a new level of consciousness and awareness. I want to be able to communicate with nature to be strong as I can possibly be in my life. But I have to experience this journey on my own. And it's my crystal clear intent that I'm going to change and rearrange my life for me, the divine masculine and not the divine feminine. For me. I love you to death, divine feminine, but I have to think of myself and, and heal myself first so I can be a better divine masculine for you if you accept me back. Okay, so I hope this message made sense to you all. Um, it's pretty much it pretty much mirrors the other two that were, that I had earlier that, that didn't seem to want to take. So I hope this message resonates with you all. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you.